YB family, welcome back to another video, another banger. And this morning we are at one of the biggest cars and coffees in California. We are at South OC Cars and Coffee. We got Susie right here. She is looking absolutely horrible. She's dirty, she's filthy from the rain. We still haven't washed her from the last couple videos, but we will handle that soon. In the meantime, there's all these beautiful cars and we're gonna walk around and see how many of them I want. I already see an R32 over there that we have to go look at, so come on. This is a full meet, the car, the parking lot's pretty much full, so there should be something for everybody here, and by mean everybody, I mean me, because look at this R32, it's just beautiful. Carbon hood, side skirts. This is absolutely, this wing on the R32 is probably my favorite, and he's got a nice little diffuser on it. And speaking of NSX, y'all did say y'all like these in the last video, so I agree with y'all. I like them too, but I would definitely take the R32 over the NSX any day. M4 right here, this color is one of the most beautiful colors I've ever seen. They got that old school though, this motherfucker player. My body kitty. These things look good, I ain't gonna lie. If you get one of these, you gotta get the wide body. And he's on a fat meaty. He's got them things back there. A couple R35 sitting right here, but there's a 33 GTST right here sitting pretty. On some TEs, that looks pretty good. Got a little Nismo badge. Can respect the GTST. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. As soon as I drove the R33, I kind of fell out of love with the R35. Um, not that I dislike it, but I just like it a little bit less. Like I'm just more in love with Skylines now, more than the, more than the R35. And we got another Suzy right here with some carbon fenders. I've actually been looking at carbon fenders for Suzy um, because I'm trying to get the version one of Suzy done ASAP. But uh, so I've been looking at carbon fenders, and I like this one right here. I really do. But uh, y'all let me know how y'all like that one. For drop top, this shit is gross. Oh my god. Yikes. But still in for probably still faster than me. This bitch right here. Queen. Oh my. This shit right here, fire. Another R32 JDM Heaven over here. Oh. Okay, this is what we came to see. Fat Turbo 2J? And he's on the fat me. Oh my God, all the supers is here. I'm in heaven right now. All the soups is out. Look at the fucking tire he has on this car, bro. R32 is beautiful. I love those wheels. I don't know why, but I love those wheels and we have to put them on some car. This Supra is clean as fuck. You know, I don't like red cars, but this, this one is beautiful. Oh yeah. Bro, I want so many cars, it's freaking ridiculous. Which one y'all taking? 32 or Mark IV? I'd probably take a turbo Mark IV over the R32. But we're talking about 33. I'm probably gonna take the 33 over the Supra. Fire, this engine bay is freaking clean. That shit cleaner than my shit. My shit brand new. This shit pretty player too. It's got that cool, they love drifting these in Japan. Super sick. I've actually never seen one in the states before so my boy running no play he risky but uh yeah these are super cool super good drift cars another suzy right here lowered and they look so good lowered yeah we need to lower at pq to see if they have hks springs but they haven't got back to me yet so when they get back to me i will definitely be installing the springs don't know much about these engine wise but we got a little turf ski in there so it's probably fun to drive i'm never and he's got the te size skirts this is pretty much fully done like look at the engine bay he's got the rk titanium strut bars all the carbon little bits this is player my boy got the money what's he got in the trunk i don't know but that exhaust right there is just like five bands itself oh and he's on are those bags? What the fuck is that? Motherfucker sound. Player. Little cat with the fat meat in the back. Sheesh. PQ, I'm coming back to add more power. Because we did not gap the cap. We were even. I'm trying to beat them shits. I'm not trying to tie. So, we gotta come back to the drawing board. Anyways, another G82. In this 
gray color. Oh, those seats is wild. The fuck going on here? This with the gray? Oh, what was you thinking? Delica has this. I know this is from a race car. I forgot what it was. It was a Supra though that had this livery on it. And it's pretty dope. I'm going on the monster truck suspension. But this is pretty sick, the little livery they got inspired by the race car. Now y'all know what I'm finna say. These, maybe not these specifically. I don't think these have the concave that I want, but pretty much these five spoke wheels right here are the wheels that I actually wanted on Susie, but I don't have five bands to spend on it. So um yeah, but here y'all go. So you can see it on this one because you're not gonna see it on mine. You got all these million dollar cars just sitting over here. This motherfucker is player though. Mozzie, all these exotics. All these exotics and I only care about the R32 that's over there. All the, the Viper crew is out. This one looks pretty sick. Outside of it being drop top, fat wing, which I can respect, it looks good. And there's a Ford GT over here with this hood pop. And y'all know Ford GTs is cool. Everybody is drooling over this. I'm gonna have to just come in here and give me a quick little shot. Bow. Supercharged? This bitch is sexy. GR on the wheels that I like. Yeah, that shit looks clean. How y'all like the new little GRs, BRZs? This GTR looks like it needs to be in Texas 2K right now. What's it doing here? You need to be on the street running shit with these fat ass tires. These wheels is fire and it's silver. Y'all know silver GTRs just have a special place in my heart. If we ever get a 35, this is exactly what I want to do. I just want to make it a drag beast, 1500 horsepower flamethrower. This pink one, how y'all feeling about this, this pink Susie right here? I don't think the pink itself looks bad just like all the extra little graphics on it and this is a 2.0 so yeah. okay i've really been considering buying an evo you can do a lot of stuff to an evo though. i can do a lot of stuff to an evo and you can make them crazy fast and they just look so good i mean his like you know the, this one can use a little bit of love but in the end evos just look so good and like this would pretty much be my garage setup. Like how would y'all feel? Yeah, that splitter is fucking sick and those fenders. We'll go, we'll get to that in a second, y'all. But this would pretty much be the garage setup if I were to buy an Evo. I think you need to make that happen. I've bro, I've really been considering it. But here's the thing. It's it's all I'm buying a car to help the channel grow. So I'm gonna post a poll and I want y'all to go and vote on that poll. It's gonna be between an Evo, an R33, a Mark IV, and probably another car that I haven't thought about yet. Um, but I, I just really, I wanna know what car is gonna help build the channel the best. And uh, obviously save me a little bit of moolah cause some of those cars is very expensive. Most of them are, are very expensive. Wow, let's be on the budget right here. This would be more on the cheaper side. Yeah. And we can very, very well build this car. R33 is gonna take a long time to build. The Mark IV will take a little bit less time, but still a long time to build. This, not cheap, but a little cheaper for the car itself. Um, so yeah, if y'all wanna see this, this combo right here, this duo, and y'all think it would do well, uh, let me know in the comments below. Now, going to the Mark V, these are the wheels that I wanted, but couldn't afford, because they're $5,000. But, uh, yeah so we'll get, there, we'll, get we'll get there we'll get there um but yeah the wheels those fenders are sick um i was looking at fenders for Susie. no it's you're good you're good and uh this freaking splitter is fucking dope but yeah i think i like these fenders a little bit more than uh his oh and he's got the little oh he's got a tubular manifold little front set up for the turf skis let me see if i can see him oh i can't see him but yeah this bro if I was to get a vet, it would be this exact vet. The ZR1 C6 with the supercharger out the hood. Beautiful. Manual. Exactly how you would want it. LS9s. ZR1 wings. This is sick. Now, what the fuck is this? What is this? I cannot tell you what car in a car this is. That's a Cleveland motor in it. 
But this shit's sick. Yeah, it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but hey, I have more power to this guy. All right, so I think I done found something that might win me over from the C6. All right, I think you this is the channel. This? This. Would be fucking sick. This thing has every carbon fiber bay you could find. Even the seats. Manual too? Manual. Z06 with a choppity chop chop cam and the E85 and he's on the R triple eights. Hey, y'all know I'm not the biggest fan of American Muscle. I'm a JDM fanboy for sure, but there is certain cars like this that just, bro, beautiful. Can't like Camaros will be the same way too. With the right, yeah. with the right tasteful mods, definitely. My boy has a Camaro, yeah. making a lot of power. Nah, only in the 200s. Ah! <laughs> we got a race, we got a race, I'm and we're gonna see before we upgrade again. So uh, we can just, you know, see where our cars is at. We'll take them to our Mexico spot. All right, y'all, we done found the holy grail of Mark IVs. And this is Paul Walker inspired, super, super clean engine bay. From Fast and Furious. This is sick. I don't know about the blue interior, but this is clean. Like now, you got, now you gotta add that to the channel. Hey, if I could add this to the channel, I would. I really would. I mean, this was, this is probably the car that got me into cars. You gotta put respect where respect dude. This shit's sick. This shit right here hard. That interior though. This motherfucker player. What's up, bro? This shit hard. Tiar Kulu. I don't know if this is rap or if it's paint, but you know I can respect the big wang and the TEs. Well, we was over here looking at this Viper, and I shit myself over this cappuccino. And if y'all don't know what these are, these are JDM cars. And they're not fast, but they're just so sick. Even the rims, look close. And he's got the TEs on here? Like, y'all can't tell me this car wouldn't be so fun to just rip around in. It's like a little mini, little mini go-kart. Dang, the big body with the blue geezies? This shit player, I ain't gonna lie. Chaser leaving. What's that noise? Maybe like an exhaust leak, maybe? Yeah, it could be. Uh, good too, Jay. This shit player. This shit hard. It looked like he, he drifted. Sick, this would be a cool little drift car. This shit is fucking sick. All right, these fenders, if anybody can tell me in the comments what fenders these is called, I will buy these. I know they're expensive, but they just look so good. The hood is clean too, but I have a different idea for a hood. Um, just a different brand, different style, but we definitely do need to do a carbon hood. And he's on the ad VZs. This, this super is hella clean. Super, super clean. Does he have carbon and Alcantara on the on the top? Let me see. He does. He has like a little carbon Alcantara thing. Like, where did he get that? Yeah. Where's he getting all this custom stitching and shit from? And it's white. He's little. He's risky. My shit would not be white. Take it. I got a stay bro, got a blip, we catchin' hella pose I love some melon in the garbage on oh, yellow bone It can ask you when I'm fucking, you can tuck it, she can sweaty He say he getting money, I'm like, hey, who you tellin' bro? Catch me runnin' to a bag, I'm in the corner like a Reza Stella got me teed up